grace is what God has made available for the church through Christ Jesus or in Christ Jesus. But what grace has made available, faith has to make it attainable. Now, this life that God has made available to us in Christ Jesus, which is called grace, can only be manifested through the gospel. That is the scriptures. That is the world. In Peter, first Peter chapter 1, it says, He has given unto us this great and exceeding precious promises that through them we might become partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. Second Peter chapter 1. Second Peter, sorry. Second Peter chapter 1. Verse number 2. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 2. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According as his divine power. Remember the gospel is a power. According as his what? His divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him to what? Now verse 4 whereby are given unto us exceedingly great and precious promises ah, that by this we might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. We partake of this grace life through this great exceeding precious promises. The more of the word of healing I have and I believe the more I become partaker of that grace life. The word of God is for the spirit world. Let it enter you. Let it wash you. Let it rejuvenate your inner man. Let it increase the number of your days. Let the word enter you and build spiritual immunity system. In that even if it's tomorrow that there's an ancestral disease that was planning to enter you through your bloodline, it will meet the word that has been planted in your spirit.